Hi, and welcome to the final installment of my project, which was to make an Arduino smartwatch. This is the entry into the Atmel Simply AVR design contest. Uh, it's still open until the end of September for voting, so if you pop by Atmel's site and you jump onto the contest link, um, go and vote for me. I'm on page four now. They got quite a lot of entries, <coughs> which is cool, but the more votes, the better. And the uh, voting all ends at the end of September. But this is it. Uh, if you've gone to my blog or if you've watched the other two videos, you've seen the the build up to this final phase. I wanted to get an Arduino programmable watch that could fit into an Apple um, iPod 6 nano case. And here it is. It, uh, it worked great. Uh, I learned an awful lot about uh, solder reflow from trying to get these really small uh, surface mount components, the um, IMU sensor and the pressure sensor, um, but it worked great. And you have a board that when assembled fits totally into the case. The battery I've mounted to the back and uh, run the wires through the back. There's already holes there for the clip on the iPad, iPod. Um, I just couldn't fit the battery in. I'd have to actually have a blank part total on my um, PC board. I just don't have room to do that because uh, the buzzer takes up almost a quarter of the space. So I noticed though mounting on the back, if you look from the side you can barely see it. And in fact it doesn't extend beyond the, um, the extent of the watch as it is. So it doesn't feel like anything on your wrist. It feels just like it would have the iPod. Uh, I changed the face because why? I could. It's an Arduino. I can program anything I want. So on the left side you have access to the buttons. And the, the cool thing about this display is one line of code. You just change it and it'll orient itself this way so you can put the buttons on this side if you'd like. And it'll flip the display. You can even flip it like that if you wanted to. <clears throat> but my buttons are there, that mode button and an up and down. I replaced the original design of the rocker um, with these three buttons. This will allow me to put a little overlay here and still operate the buttons and keep it fairly watertight. Over here is the USB port for charging and underneath it I can actually hook in with mini hook lines to the four lines I need to program through my FTDI chip. So it's all set. So I don't even have to take the watch out. I just hook the hooks into here, hook them up to my FDI um, interface, and I can program the Arduino sitting just like this. So that's it. The only other thing that I implemented from the previous videos, um, I still have the weather function still have the accelerometer. I've actually implemented that oops, I've implemented the accelerometer as a little bubble level. You can see it bouncing around there. Um, still have the compass but I did was able to mount um, as it, I thought my buzzer was broken but I had the code pointing to the wrong spot. When I laid out the PC board I recognized that I was trying to bring my buzzer from the other side of the chip, so I assigned it to a different port and never updated the code. So for the longest time I thought my buzzers weren't working, not the case, as you can hear there. Um, so everything now on the board works as it should. The only thing with the buzzer is it was a little thick. I had to take the top plastic piece off so that it would actually fit in the watch. But you can hear it really well, so an alarm would work fine. Um, so that's it. That's the total implementation. Want to make one yourself? Go to the blog. There's all the information you need. There's the board layouts. There is all the software posted. Um, if you feel really gutsy, you can make one of these and have a fully functional Arduino smartwatch to program anything you want. Oh, the other program I did, just because I wanted to, was Moonphase. Moonphase just takes the date and you can see it going from a new moon to a full moon to a new moon. We're just past the full moon and we're on our way up to a, a new moon. Again, you know, I, I just wanted it, so I programmed it. It was really simple. And that's one of the, the glories about this. I don't have to look in an app store to find what I want. If you're using Arduino, you're already used to programming. And you just program anything you want with the sensors, with the time, the date, uh, with the buzzer, with the buttons. You can play games, all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out, 
it's um, it's nice and wedged in there. I left the screen protector on the original screen, so it kind of looks a little beat up and choppy, but that's uh, what I can eventually do is pull that off and put on an actual phone screen protector. Those look much nicer. Um, so that's it. Um, please drop by the blog and uh, take a look at the constructions, share it, and uh, like it. Uh, same thing with the video, share and like, and then drop over to Atmel's site and vote for this project. Uh, personally, I'd like to see Atmel make it so that it would be a really professional looking watch and um, would have all the, the great stuff that you would hope as an Arduino watch would have, including Bluetooth, which is still omitted from this as um, I couldn't get a small enough board, but that's that's changing. There are things available now that would integrate into this watch and still fit into the housing. So I guess the design's never really done, but as it stands right now, that's my entry. Thanks for watching, and uh, head over to the blog and have fun.